What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, it was a bit of a spooky one. Very, very spooky. Yeah, we saw a ghost, and we managed to get ourselves the Lunar Wing. Something that you can actually find over in uh, Pokemon, what was it called? Uh, yeah, in Pokemon, what was it called again? Pokemon Platinum. Yeah, in Pokemon Platinum. If you guys remember, the Lunar Wing right here, or yeah, the Lunar Wing summons, uh, what was it called? Cresselia. And last week, as I finished my Pokemon Platinum walkthrough, you guys managed to see the event of Cresselia, where it became a, uh, what was it called? Uh, it became a roaming Pokemon. Now, Cresselia is, isn't without its uh, counterpart, which is Darkrai. Cresselia happens to give you dreams, heals you from the nightmares while, you know, Darkrai, even though it looks menacing, uses nightmares in order to protect itself because, well, it's much more of a timid Pokemon than many people uh, think. So, what we're going to be doing now, guys, is we're going to be moving on forward into the reverse mountain right here. And what's going to happen here is we're going to be using repels like nobody's business because, yeah... Yeah, a lot of you guys didn't really like the whole, uh, what was it called, uh, you guys didn't, yeah, <laughs> you guys didn't really like the whole thing with, uh, me kind of, uh, you know, battling every single Pokemon. Now, I did see a Firestone on me, and I think there was a reason to why I'm not using it right now. Now, before we do anything, let's go ahead and, uh, yes, let's go ahead and grab, uh, let's use Charge Beam. And give that to Magneto, because I do have a, there is a move that, like, this move is actually working, but the problem is that, well, it's powerful, but it always switches, never, and I think Magneto is not really that physical of a Pokemon. So for the time being, we're going to be taking away Flash, and, well, let's see, we got a Sky Drop move and Acrobatics. These are two pretty good moves that we've uh, received early on in Mistralton. So what's going to happen now is going into the Mistra, or the, what was it called, the Twisting Cave, I think? And this place is more of a volcano than what you guys think. Found ourselves a Max Repel yet again. And, well, look at that. You can see the lava flow right here. I wonder if we're going to be finding ourselves a, a legendary Pokemon. And, well, look at this. Bianca's like, hey, Draven. Um, you know what? There's something I want to investigate here in Reverse, uh, Reversal Mountain. But the wild Pokemon are really tough, and I'm having trouble with them. Could you come with me, please? And, uh, oh, don't worry. I'll take care of the healing of our Pokemon, okay? Ready? Let's go. So, we got doubles. Double battles. And look at this, man. This is pretty uh, This is pretty cool right here. Here we found ourselves a healing potion. So, yeah. We won't have to worry about using any kind of potions except for in-battle things. Now, I'm going to try and explore everything we've got right here. And, well, we're going to be battling some trainers. And from what it looks like, it's just a one on one. Oh, wow, it's a triple battle. It is a triple battle, and she's got two Riolus. Holy buckets. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that to that guy. Let's go ahead and do this to that guy. And let's go ahead and do this to both those guys. And, well, here we go. Fly attack for the win. Rock slide and volt switch. That takes care of one Riolu, and we're going to be switching out our Pokemon. And, well, let's see, who is the other Pokemon I want to use? Let's go ahead and use Sai of the Torrent. And Sai is back, and here comes a Force Palm. That right there gets us with a Dynamic Punch. Good gravy. Okay. I'm mad. I'm mad. So here we have Big Booty Butkus. And we're going to go with a Surf Attack on everybody. Everybody's candy, you know what. And Riolu's gone. And, well, here comes a Surf Attack hitting everybody, and good gravy! Yeah, I sabotaged myself. <laughs> I literally sabotaged myself. Holy crud. Okay, so right off the bat, we're getting our butts kicked. Okay. So, let's go with a Fly Attack to Girdle. Girdle? Girdle? Girdle, I should say. Slash Attack to uh, the Girdle. And Charge... God dang it. Charge Beam to Girdle. So, here we go. Fly Attack. Slash Attack. Charge Beam. For the win, and there you go, guys. Look at that. Okay. Now we got to revive our Pokemon. God dang it. Actually, we don't. <laughs> we don't. They're already healed because good old Bianca helping us out. That's cool. That's awesome. Okay, so look at it. Look at this place right here. Like, the lava is looking pretty awesome. I... Wow. I'm in a loss for words just a little bit because, well, 
Again, the, like, uh, last time I played... Well, the last time I played in this particular area right here, I believe it was, what? A while back. It was actually, yeah, it was it was a while back. Holy crap. And I do have... I do have, what was it called? A, a copy of Pokemon White 2. It's just, again, it's been a while since I've actually played it. And, well, Girder has been defeated. Sigh of the Torrent, getting some points. And here comes Swana. And, well, it looks like to us that we're going to have to... Yeah, we're going to have to switch out our Pokemon because this is looking pretty de deadly right here. So who to go to? Let's go with Sigh of the Torrent right here. And here comes an Air Slash. That really hits us. And here comes a Hypnosis. And, well... Well, let's go ahead and hit everybody. So, Air Slash, Surf Attack, Crustle nearly gets defeated, but it does have a, its effect. It, well, saves it. Not for long. And, well, let's go right ahead. Not use X Scissors, but let's go ahead and use a Slash Attack right here. And, just like that, Swana has been defeated. Okay. So, let's see. Hmm. There really isn't nothing right here. Okay, so we're going to be using another Repel, and I think we've already been through this area right here. So, let's go right ahead and keep on crossing this whole place right now. Again, it's been a while since I've actually played this game, and you know what? There is something that I want to do real quick, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, never mind. We're going to have to wait on that for the next episode. So, let's go ahead and continue on right here, guys. So here we are in the next level, and there's the exit. There's a few exits right here. And, as always, I'm going to have to check up on every single one of these guys because good gravy. Okay, so, this, uh, oh wow, there is a hidden item right behind that haunted house. If you guys remember in the last episode, we went through a haunted house situation. And, <laughs> was it a situation? Oh, yes. And, look at this, we found ourselves a two, or, well, two items right here. Holy crap, okay, so, here it is, a smoke ball, which also works for, what was it called, uh, for escaping for repelling or escaping and all that stuff. So that right there is not the place to go to. And there is an individual right here. So I guess it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one battle right now. So here comes Pokemon Ranger Lewis. And coming out is Gigalith itself. And here we go. Fly attack for the win. Not really. And we can no longer escape. So here goes a side beam. I'd rather not escape. I am no coward. And well... Go with Sigh of the Torrent. Sigh, uh, Sigh, of course, is at level 40. Completely forgot about that. So, let's go straight for a Surf Attack. And there you go. And just like that, level 41 for the win. Okay. And take this. It's Earth's Energy. We get ourselves a Rouseberry, which, you know, heals us from any kind of, uh, any kind of, what was it called? Uh, yes. Uh, burn. Burns and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and move that item to... Big Booty Buttkiss, because, yes, I'm pretty sure there's a reason why we haven't evolved Big Booty Buttkiss yet. And it looks like to us, Bianca's actually figured out, or has seen that we're, we're here. So, oh, Draven, here! This is the place. Let's go take a look around. And before we do anything, there's this doctor right here. So let's go ahead and battle him. And, well, as many of you guys already know, if we battle doctors, they will eventually heal our Pokemon whenever... You know, after we defeat them and all that. And, yeah, this Pokemon is raising its special defense for some reason. Here we go. And just like that, Gigalith has been defeated. Big Booty Buckus grows to level 36. Awesome. And, well, we don't really need to heal our Pokemon very much. Okay, so, let's see. We got to the place, but I kind of want to, I kind of want to battle everybody right here. Because there are quite a few items that we can actually get. And I kind of want to see the lava right here. So, oh wow, this is a switch battle. Good gravy. Okay, so either way you look at it, either way you look at it, yeah, never mind. Okay, so fly attack. And somebody's going to get hurt right there. There we go. Scraggy has been defeated. And let's go ahead and get with the fly attack because, yes, he's trying to defend himself from this whole, uh, what was it called, a uh, psychic thing. And wow, dynamic punch hits us confuses us and yes we get healed so what's gonna happen now is hmm no I'd rather not do that let's go right ahead and switch the other way around 
and use Dragon Breath since we are a Dragon type Pokemon. So there we go, Dragon Breath, Dragon Breath again, or Rock Slide, and there we go, Girder has been defeated. And we got one more Pokemon to go. Let's go right ahead and use Dragon Breath. And there's a Storm getting its butt kicked yet again. And there we go, unpredictable, we win. Okay, so our Pokemon are healed, and well, again, I want to grab items before we start going into like secret places and all that stuff. And there is a Pokemon trying to burrow its way out. So let's grab this, found ourselves a PP up. That's always nice, and well, let's see. There's a double battle waiting for us. Let's go right here. Yeah, there's like two items right there that these people just don't want us to get. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead with a side beam. And Boldor survives, and here we go again. For the win, and there we go. Gigalith grows to level 41, and here comes an Air Slash. Holy crud. All right, let's go ahead and take away uh, Light Screen for just the time being. And here comes Excadrill. So let's go right ahead and go with Sigh of the Torrent right here. And yes, Surf Attack for the win. There we go. And there we go. I, I do miss good old uh, Drillmonger. And here we found ourselves a Revive, which is always nice. And we're going to be battling some more traders. Let's go. And here comes a... A gold bat, so let's go straight forward. A, a side beam attack, and for that we win. And here comes Darmanitan. So let's go back to the side of the torrent. So this episode's gonna be just two Pokemon. Kinda sucks, but it's whatever. Let's go! Surf attack, and for the win. There you go. Budkiss grows to level 37. And well, she's talking about the Magma Stone. Of course, the Pokemon that we're referring to when it comes to Magma Stone is, uh, what's his face? Uh, oh, look at that, we found ourselves a red shard, which is nice. Is, uh, what was it called? What was it called? Uh, Vol Volcarana? No, 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 it's not Volcarana, it's the tip of my tongue. I battled him last week, god dang it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Let's just get to the battles, guys. I'm just happy to be back. Okay, so, here we go, take it on, Ace Trainers, and they're coming out with Grumpig and Vibrabra. Vibrabra, I can't even pronounce that name right. Go with an air slash hit uh, this guy and air slash does not do much and here comes earth power so right now it's looking pretty oh wow Musharna is kicking some butt and you know what let's go ahead and switch out to side because yes it's much more reliable right here and here comes a power gem attack and that hits us pretty good and a shadow ball yeah this Pokemon is kicking some butt taking some names right here okay so Bianca is no slouch there we go, rest attack. And we're gonna be going with a surf attack right here. Hitting everybody, including Grumpig, and here comes the Shadow Ball. And, well, we got X Scissors, and it is weak against Bug type Pokemon. So there we go, Shadow Ball misses. And here comes Driplim. Let's go straight for a, a slash attack. And Driplim, I think it's a more physical Pokemon. Oh yeah, it is a ghost type, my bad. Yep, completely forgot about that, my bad. And there we go, tanking it out, and just like that we win again. Okay, so let's see. Before we head anywhere else, let's go right ahead and go right here. And here we found ourselves a yellow shard. So I'm assuming that these little vul vulcan uh, volcanic rocks are, you know, they, they hide some shards and stuff. Got to stuck up on the shards, and well, this guy right here, what is he all about? You strike me as the type who f who fills out the habitat list. Come on, let me see what kind of Pokemon live in Reversal Mountain. Oh, still looking into it, huh? Some of the Pokemon are on the outside of the Reversal Mountain as well. Cool, 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 pretty cool. Um, no, I'm not going there yet. But I am grabbing this, and we found ourselves a nugget. And well, let's see. What do we go? What happens if we go right here? We're going into another room, and as always, check these stones right here. Nothing nothing and I think this is the exit and I want to keep looking about uh, do, you, do you want to do or do you should just say bye now what do you want to do should we say bye now no actually let's go ahead and uh okay so that was the exit so we're gonna be going straight into the cave area that she had mentioned to us early on right here so let's see right here 
And you know what? Let's go ahead and speed it up. Alrighty, so look at this. Super speed. Kind of like Saiyans. Look at that. Okay. Yes, let's go ahead and use another repel. And we've already defeated you. So, right here. Okay. So, we're going to be going down this uh, little cave area. And as you guys can see, there is a crater. And Bianca's going to be looking around. She's like, what is this place? It feels very strange. Could this be the place where Reversal Mountains started from? The lair of the uh, Pokemon Heatran. Wow, that's its name. Keep on forgetting these Pokemon's names. Heatran is a Pokemon with a magma-like blood flowing through it. Hmm, it is. And I don't think that it can't... I, we can't do anything right now, so... Huh. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Wow, huh. We probably should have just... Yeah, we probably should have just gone there first, but how, did, how would I know? Again, this is like my first time coming back here. And, uh, well, let's see. The exit's right there. And, well, here we are. Yes, let's use another Rafael because, yes, we don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon. And, right through this point, I want to keep looking at that. Okay, yes, let's go right ahead and research out Heat Ran. Thank you for coming with me. Be careful on the rest of your journey. Okay, so. Don't know if I missed out on anything, but that right there is pretty much it. And here we are in Undela Town. And, well, this guy's like, we're starting a construction to further develop Undela's uh, resort. We just connected the volcano to the volcano, and we're uh, in all of uh, nature's power. And, well, look at that. Okay, so what is going to happen right here, guys, is uh, I guess we're going to stop right here. I'm just trying to find the Pokemon Center. There's an item right there. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab this item before we finish off our episodes. There we go. We found ourselves a berry juice. And, well, let's see. There might be something right here. No. There might be here. No. Some items right here. There is one item right there. No. That's a rock. You can never be too sure, guys. It really can't. And uh, let's go straight to the bulldozer. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Muffin button. Ah, there we go. We found ourselves a shiny stone, which can be used to evolve another Pokemon. And, well, I think that's pretty much it right there, guys. So, what's going to happen is... Oh, I remember this place. This is where we found Cynthia. Okay, so, in the next episode, guys, we're going to be going through Undela Town and all its wonders right here. And, uh, yeah, we'll figure out some stuff afterwards, okay? Okay. Thank you guys again for being patient. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. See you guys.